Hello, friends. During Advent, we are talking about the different characters that were part of the Nativity. And this week, we are going to be talking about the shepherds that came to see baby Jesus. The scripture that I am going to use for this comes from Luke chapter 2, verses, uh, starting with verse 8. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were very afraid. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. And when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told to them about this child. And the story continues. But this is what I want us to talk about for a few minutes, and that is shepherds. Um, shepherds have a very difficult job. They have to keep their sheep in a certain area of grass. And when that grass is no longer in the field, the shepherds have to guide their sheep to another area. If the sheep are coming down a mountain, the shepherd has to guide the sheep in a zigzag fashion so they don't plunge to their death. A sheep knows the shepherd's voice. The sheep also hear what the shepherd has to say and obey what the shepherd says. A shepherd can restore order to fighting sheep. I enjoy collecting Christmas nativity sets. And as I was preparing for this morning, I started looking at my nativity sets and realizing that most of the ones that I have, there are plenty of wise men and kings that are depicted in the um, nativities. And there is usually a sheep, but not as often as we see the kings and the wise men. This nativity that I have on my dining room table does have Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus and the wise, men, the wise men bringing their gifts, but also there is a shepherd, and he too is looking upon baby Jesus. The thing that strikes me about shepherds being included in the nativity is that Jesus includes a shepherd and sheep as part of the group of people to come and to worship and to see baby Jesus. Shepherds are certainly not usually thought of as wealthy as the wise men and the kings, but there's something about the humility of a shepherd and a sheep that reminds us that Jesus invites all people to come and to worship the Christ child. I want to close this morning with, with a few more words about a shepherd. And this comes from the book of Isaiah. 
Like a shepherd, he will tend his flock. In his arm he will gather the lambs and carry them in his bosom, and he will gently lead the nursing ewes. A shepherd tends, gathers, carries, and leads. Just as we have a humble servant and a shepherd who comes to worship the Christ child, each of us in our special way Whatever our shape or size, whatever our standing in life, we too come to worship the Christ child. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that you invite people of all classes, people of all stages to come and to see the Christ child. We know that you accept and love us all. We thank you that we are your children and that you invite us to come. As we continue to celebrate the coming of the Christ child, may we too humbly come before you in awe and wonder at the Christ. In Christ's name we pray. Amen.